Because we, uh, we might have to get somebody over there to them. Not to them, but just get over there. I need listen. to show them. So, baby, I'm going to call you back, but I got to show them. I'm on my way. He, he, D ain't even seen it. He said he on his way already. Know that. Know that. Now I got to show you. Hey, I Courtney. Know, hey. I know wherever D is. Yeah, it's a good time. I'm going that time. with <laughs> Simo. <laughs> I'll call you when I get out. It's time to get going. Nope. And this is how we're going to do this. Mm. We can't do it without you. Mm. We can't do shit without you. I need y'all to know. Very intricate, intricate part of, the, of this whole operation. So I want to say thank y'all, brothers. Billo. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Wow. Rocky night. Rocky goddamn night. No, no, it's a rocky night right now. For rocky you. night. Yeah. Yeah, see his face? See what his face doing? Let's see who else's face don't change. Yeah, hey, you know what? This is my YouTube tomorrow. You know what? I mean, I no, no, it ain't over. There's more in there. Oh, right. Yeah. Test, oh, test. yeah, see, that's, that's a good one. You got to attend to it later. I don't even yeah. want to see it. I, yeah. That's, that's definitely. Wow. For later. I don't want to see that's, that. That's, I won't make the people happy. Mm-hmm. I just want to make the people happy. You don't make the people happy. Because let me tell you what's happening right now. Go yeah. ahead. So there are people that's at home. Go. Last time I saw Didi, ah, oh, fuck, I can't believe I'm saying this. We got to get it out there. Yeah, shit. Last time I saw Didi was before I left Houston, before I moved. Um, so I've seen it since then. That was the last time we all got to hang out. Big Reed, Kevin Reed, my first manager. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's the person who put me down with Didi. Uh, me and Didi, we uh, ended up hanging out in Miami, because that's where she floated between Miami and, and Vegas. I had a show out there I was doing at the Miami Improv, and so I'm out there kicking it. I got a weekend I'm doing at the uh, Miami Improv, and uh, Reed was like, hey, I got some people that's coming to your show tonight. You should meet her. She comes to the show. She walks in. Thin waist. Nice round ass. Titties pressed perfectly. Hair down to her shoulder. Beautiful face, poised, elegant, real classy. What's she wearing? She's got like a, a top shirt that cuts off right here. Yeah. But you can see that under boob. You can see some of the titty. You can see some of the titty. But it's real That's fly weird. though. It's still sexy. It's but still it's some of the titty is always amazing. Side but boob, see some under titty boob. Is always Side amazing. boob is the shit. Yeah. I like it. So, so she walks in, but this is the part that makes it interesting. She's got six girls with her. What they look like? Three Asians. <sighs> Three Cubans and Dominicans. I don't know what the, they. It don't matter. Them. You don't have to dice them up. That's enough. Three. Three and three. Latinas. Yeah, yeah. They they was only they Cubans or Dominicans because hey, all killers. She got six killers. Six killers. So she comes in immediately. Shuts the comedy club down. Shut that down Cause, right cause away. Because these off ain't the rip. these ain't <laughs> normal bad Patrons. veterans that no. come to the comedy. Right. No, you have a few sprinkled in there, but when you got six, six and bad one ones, time. let me tell you what it is. People who have bad bitches, it's levels to it. Okay? It damn sure is levels. We're gonna start with. You better know it's levels. Give them the levels. A shift leader. Uh, uh, got you. Shoe store. Shoe store shift leader. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You still nigga, winning. You still got some cute bitches, kind of bad bitches that's, that you in a shoe store. You right. You the, the manager at the shoe store, possibly. Exactly. Then you got a uh, drug dealer, bad bitches. That, that's a little step up. It's step up. College nigga, bad, bad bitches. bitches. Right. Come on now. Now you got. Ball player bad bitches. That's a whole nother bad bitch. Now they now sometimes them ball player bad bitches be ex college bad bitches. Yeah, it's they a mix. Graduated. You can graduate. Yeah, you can it, graduate. It be a float. They float between college nigga, ball player, dope dealer, like kind of all. Yeah, they go up and we down. We all and say, hey, honestly, we all fucking the same bitches. Just right. that, those, you know, in that area. Then this is film executive cartel bad bitches. Let's just call them Michael Jordan bitches. See, now, because Michael Jordan ain't got bad I, bitches. I'm not talking about Michael, him. Yeah. I'm just talking about the shoe. Because the, the, the brand. The see, yeah, like oh, the, the brand. If you're talking about sneakers, yeah. you got to go with Jordan. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. Not, not that team, nigga. Not team Jordan. No. Not that. No, no, not team. Just, the, you jo know. Not yeah. jump man. Not jump man. No, not that. No. This is just the elite level. Right. The, the, the shoes he played in. Right. Cool. Those, right. They up there. Cartel bitches is manufactured. They, they put you together. Now, that's the top tier of them. The cartel he bitches. Did. That's, he, that's he what I'm saying. What These was. was cartel. You selling a whole lot of cocaine. 
dealing with these. It's women. some people done died for looking at her the wrong way, bad. <laughs> bitches. Yep. And yep. that's and then it's, then it's Asian triad bad bitches. I know where you're at with it. So that's what that's what these was. This was cartel Asian triad bad bitches. Not I race Hondas on the weekend. Bad. Not them. Not, not, uh -uh. This is this is up here. No disrespect. Not name. If you race Hondas, I don't got a problem. If you race them, you race them. And then, you know what I'm saying? And if you're a bad bitch and you like racing Hondas, give us a call. 323 385 3, we'll get somebody over there to you. Just hold tight. Time. Keep your hand on the steering wheel, bitch. I got you. Go ahead, that Billy. Is hilarious. One of the girls' names was Malene. Malene's bad. Asian. I'm talking to Didi because, of course, my first thought is I'm going for the kill on Didi because K. Reed didn't tell me how bad she was. And her daddy doing this shit. She got money. I'm going for the juggler. Fuck it. I'm going right in. Jump right in. She says, you know, you're my brother, but I want you to have a good time. Okay. I go out with them. So in front of uh, everybody, I walk out with Didi and the six bad bitches. We leave from there. We go out to the club. We hit live up. Party down. I ain't paying for shit because I'm broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a card in my pocket. How much is on that card? $48. Gotcha. 48 Gotcha. Let me tell you what I had when That's I left. a good number. How much? I had 100 you know why I had 100? Why? Because it was a PayPal for a flyer design that I did because I was designing flyers back get that, then. Right and I knew account. I wasn't going to get all my money That's from near. the comedy club to the weekend. So I'm not eating at all during the week. I am starving mm -hmm. all weekend long until I get to the comedy club. And then I'm picking up boxes of food from the comedy club because I'm ordering up three of everything so I can eat the next day. So I had starved. That's good. So it was me, Didi, the, three bad, the six, six bad bitches six. total, and it's three stacks of... Burgers, chicken tenders, and wings. All for you. All for me. That's in her car. Gotcha. And she said, put that in the trunk because that's going to stink later. I said, it's going to be fine as long as this shit don't go all right the way now. cold. Right. It's going to stay warm in this trunk. We going to live, having a great time. They at the W, balling like a motherfucker. Mm. We're kicking it. I'm still trying to press Didi. She says, uh-uh, baby, you my brother. I said, I'm sorry, Didi. I'm, I'm tripping. Shit, I'm tripping. Get drunk. She was like, but I want you to have fun. The girl is all on me. Malene takes me in another room and gives me the best head. Come on now. I done had. She up there in the top five. Okay. Okay. Wasn't no game with it. I wasn't even hard for her. I was hard for who was in the house. Mm. This you ain't got nothing to do with you. This ain't got nothing to do with you. You just do what you doing. She just jumped right to it. Yeah. Like, hey, let me knock that down. It's like it's a cone in the parking spot. Let's move Let that out of the way. Right. <laughs> knocked it, and she knocked me down. Right. I'm a young nigga, so I'll write back to it. I said, nah, you can't do me like that. Right. I still you got see, some in me. I got some in me. I keep the dick on me. Because my dick is on me. It's on me. At it's this on time. my place. I brought it's on all my, of it. I brought all damn of it. Sure my place. And you damn sure going to get all of it. Yeah. Because that's the type of person I am. Right. I'm not going to hold no dick back you got from it on you. There's well, no you dick left behind. I'm not a right. no that's, a, that's a school program. A program. Dick. No Bush, dick left Bush, behind. George W. Bush. <laughs> yeah, George, no George Bush yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no dicks left behind. Didn't. Man, look, I wore ass out. She was like, they're going to hear us. I said, they need to hear us. Because yeah, I'm trying to advertise. Because right. what's happening is, it's also with this big ass suite they staying in at the W. The other girls is in there. And they fucked up. And they talking and saying crazy shit. They be saying How crazy shit. How many guys are in this? Ain't no guys in there. It's just Billy. It's the young bull. <laughs> One dick and against six chicks. Yeah. In a, in a room I full like of China. A bull yeah. in a room full I of like China. Diddy, Diddy <laughs> off limits. She in the room talking on the phone, being innocent and smart and shit and cool. <coughs> she let me run a muck. She knows with these what's going women. on. I, listen. Right, get out of that room. Where you going next? So I, sl I slide the door Get open. out of there. Yeah. In the bathroom. I'm like this. There you go. She's Who on the this? seat. Who is this? Same, same one. Same one. Got gotcha. So I come out the bathroom. I'm walking with that thing. Yeah. I say, yeah. That's Everybody. What we, that's monkey what we, that, we, that's that, what we do. Monkey, monkey, monkey that on the dick. Listen. Monkey, monkey that thing. Monkey, yeah. Monkey on the dick. Monkey hey, yeah. on the dick. Yeah, I'm right, I'm right here with you. I say, yeah. I said, that's what we doing. You see, you know how I get down. Yeah. Yeah. What they talking about? <laughs> what they talking about? Real quick. Yeah. Condom raw dick. Oh, no. I'm raw dog. Raw dog <laughs> pain is in this bitch. He loves his dick on the Raw dog pain is in Listen, whatever that woman got, I wanted it. Hey. All of it. Get rid of it later. Hey. Let's deal with it tonight. Let me tell you something. What they ain't going to say is that I didn't come with it. Hey. Because I'm coming with it. That's going to be on So I'm ready. talking shit. I'm like, yeah, what's happening? See, see this, could, this could be in you. Yeah. And, I'm, and they, they giving me some eye contact. Yeah. Now they come over and they start rubbing my back. There you go. See, now that's where the shit gets tricky. Oh, shit. I feel like I let y'all down. 
because I wasn't ready for what happened at this moment. Six of them. Yeah, six of them in there. Okay. Well, it's five in Where's there. Where's Dee Dee? Dee Dee in the room. She ain't worried about me. Go at home. Fuck she on. Like, my little she brother in there running amok. Fuck on. I'm she running said. amok. Mm -hmm. I'm right here with it. They start rubbing my back. I ain't used to that. Mm -mm. I'm trying to get out. No, no, no. You're like, no. One of the Cuban, Dominican, Latino women reached around from behind me, grabbed my leg. Out of the pussy? Yeah, just grab it. Just grab that. While it's in the pussy. Okay. That little space right there. Uh, that little space. They start doing it like this. Oh, she wrenching you. She wrenched me. Yeah. She wrenching you. You yeah. getting wrenched. Yeah. You getting wrenched. It, it, it wasn't getting wrenched. That's called yeah. emptying the clip. You getting it all out of there. Oh, I, bl I blew gone. that thing. That's the wrench. I blew it. That's it's the wrench. I blew it. Gone. I said, huh? Hey. Hey, listen. When a man <laughs> say, huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 It's, it's still a little bass in the back of it. I'll tell you what but else is happening. I'm letting it all out right now. Other girl grabbed under my balls, reached behind my balls in my gooch, and then pushed up with these two fingers right here. Where, where? Listen, bro. Okay. Right? I got yeah. you in a little spot, the little spot yeah. right in is between. The, the gooch. Pushed right. up. Hey, boy. Remember when we was playing Contra? Yeah. And you started out, you had the regular gun. Uh-huh. And you had the bazooka. Yeah, the, no, the spreader. The spreader. The spreader. Mm -hmm. I remember that motherfucking spreader. Remember the spreader? The yeah. The whole I spread it that whole, hey, listen, I spread it that whole goddamn kitchen down. You them down. I spread it that whole goddamn kitchen. <laughs> hey, it was like one of them automatic water hoses that way. Yeah. I'm, I, oh, hey, listen. Shit. Hey. I said, huh? 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 He was excited. Thing was empty. Shit, it's out of there. I'll tell you something. Crawled out of that room, mm. and I went and laid <laughs> next to the bed, yeah. like a dog. Couldn't even get in there. Like a like a like a dog looking for. I, I want to be away from these women, because they have pressed on my prostate, and wrenched my mm -hmm. meat off, and I needed to curl up in the fetal position, because that was two. That's two. Hey, I got one more in me. We ain't gonna see that boy later, because I don't think mm -hmm. there's no more in me. Right. I'm thinking it's empty. Went to sleep, snored. Yeah. Dee Dee woke me up laughing. I'm like, you were snoring so loud. I was like, yeah, I was out of that. Got up, walked out, all the girls was gone. Walked down to the breakfast, to the bar. They got breakfast down there. I go down there and get me a little bagel. I'm sitting there eating my bagel. Elevator walks, or opens up. Out comes Malene and two of the girls. Mm -hmm. They walk right over to me. And they said, hey, hey, water boy. Oh, shit, Bobby Boucher. Yeah, Bobby Boucher. Water boy, because I didn't know that's what it was. Mm -hmm. that, oh, it was spray, right, remember? Right, right. Hey, I was young Uzi Vert. Yeah. And I looked Malene dead in the eyes and I said, Did you miss me? God damn! <laughs> Took him around the world. The world. Well, shout man, out to D. Like shout out to Duchess Entertainment and God damn it, shout out to my wife. And this is Did You Miss Me, the hottest storytelling podcast in the game. I'm d -Lay. I'm Billy Surreal. It's your boy, Damn Food. Man, we got another episode, and I'm going to just get straight to the money. I'm Wait, drinking Hendrix okay. Gin. Again. Go and get that Hendrix Gin. Damn Food, if you would be so kind, I mean so kind, as to go and pour me a, a taste. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to tell you all about my night mm. yeah, last bro. night after the podcast. When, when you get that text from DD sometimes, it's like, what happened? Oh, I cannot wait to hear yeah. what happened. Gentlemen, I left here last night, and I was feeling great. Had a great episode. Got some good content out. You're doing way I had a few libations, mm -hmm. uh, courtesy of our good friends over at uh, Hollywood Bartender, Inc. Mm -hmm. um, You've been coming through in the clutch. They come through in the clutch. Especially uh, the Hendrix Gin. Shout out to our girl, LJ. <laughs> that Hendrix Gin, I don't even drink gin, <laughs> because my grandmother drank gin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bumpy grandmother, face. You, bumpy face gin. And, and fuck people for... Uh, she fucked Mr. Joe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mr. Joe. Mr. Joe, who's taking me to the You always got to call Mr. Joe. Mr. Joe. You have to. Mr. Charles, Mr. Everett. So, uh, <laughs> I was feeling pretty good. Mr. Pastor. And when I left here last night, I said, you know what? It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I need to get something to eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Well, a friend of mine... Cece mm. says, oh, my good friend, hey, Cece. listen, it's late. I don't know if you're going to find something up, you know, for your diet. It's late. Look up. Give me that phone. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I'm hungry, and I'm getting a little angry. 
You're hangry. I'm hangry. <laughs> you hangry. You've been, been hangry before. Mm -hmm. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I need to eat right now. Right. So I said, you know what? Happen. Let me look on Yelp. See what's up in my area. I live downtown LA. I think we found a 24 hour spot that sells Mexican food. You got me there. All I need is some beans. Give me some beans. Make me a little burrito. Mm -hmm. Easy fix. Here's the deal. I got to get out of my house. I got to walk about maybe seven to ten minutes. Pick up this food. Get out of here. I'm hungry, so fuck it. I got to do it. You got to do it if you want to eat. I tell Cece, let's get the fuck. Let's go. We're rolling. We walk seven to ten minutes to this little spot called Migos. Downtown LA, mm -hmm. Migos. Yeah. They sell all Mexican food. Migos is a little sure. small joint. It's small, right? Yeah, they better sell Mexican food because <laughs> it ain't Migos. You selling wings and, 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 and turkey necks. I'm over here. I'm pissed. <laughs> so it's a little small, it's a very small joint. It's set up like a diner, right? It's just like one little spot, one little table, like a like, not a table, like a, like a, uh, you know, you know how the, how the Waffle House has it when you walk in if you want to sit at the bar area. Mm -hmm. It's not a bar, but it's like a, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's that setup. So inside of there, two Mexican workers, one heavy set guy on the grill, one uh, other Mexican that's playing zero games. He has zero games to play. It's overnight. He's probably used to dealing with a lot of bullshit. I feel him. I've worked overnight. I worked the grave shift as, as a dealer at the wind, 4 a.m. to noon. That's where you can get all your drunk people. All your, all your drug addicts, whatever, hungry, everybody hungry is coming right to your spot if it's open in a centrally lo located spot like downtown. <clears throat> Got the two workers, and as soon as you go in, there's a homeless guy sitting at the bar. You know he's homeless. He's got all his shit with him. Everything that he owns, he's got a basket in that bitch. Mm. A grocery basket. Yeah. It's not a big area. It's a small area. Ain't a grocery store nowhere in sight. Nah, he got all his shit in the basket. Next to him is a lady with a, a butch chick, a little short haircut, with two dogs. <laughs> two little chihuahua dogs. She homeless too. Go on, give it to her. Yeah, you homeless too if you're hanging out with this lady <laughs> with the dogs. In front of you. You ain't got nowhere to go. With this lady. Right. You, that's what it is. You. So I said, you know what? I ain't got shit to do with me. I'm here to get my shit and be out of there. Right? Mm -hmm. And with Cece, she's nervous. She's very timid, very this person. And I'm like, man, I've been around this. This ain't shit for me. Right. These homeless people better not say shit to me. <laughs> I will fight a homeless person in here right now. This has nothing. I don't I want this fucking burrito so I can get out of here. I gotta have a burrito. So I'm trying to place my order and I can see the frustration in my man's face. He's dealing with a lot. He's trying to get the homeless guy out. And at the same time these goddamn dogs are barking. Mm -hmm. These little two dogs are barking. They won't stop barking. Meanwhile, the owner of the dogs, the little short-haired chick, is talking to the dogs like they really get what the fuck she's saying. Stop it! Stop! We're in public! Come on now! How are they gonna eat? Stop! I'm like, okay, just give me this order so we can get up out of here. Tell the lady what's going on. I tell the guy what I want. Simple thing, burrito, beans, rice, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of sauce on it. We in and out that thing. I look over at my man, he's making some shit, but he's using his hands for everything. I don't want you using your hands when you touch my shit. Put gloves on. Don't you put some put some gloves on, Playboy. Here's the deal. It's your tongue. Not so. Food is 2 30 in the morning. I can't be picky. Whatever the fuck they put in that burrito, that's what the fuck you eat. Whatever they however they put it together, that's what you eat. I ain't tripping on that. Just give me my burrito so I can go. Give me my burrito. Hey, listen. Pay for my shit, dog still barking, can't get the homeless guy out. It's a lot going on. Now at this point, it's about three o'clock in the morning when I get my food. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. As fuck. I want to sit there and eat it, but it's too much shit going on in this facility. Two dogs. You got two dogs there, I can't eat. Lady. Hey bro, I'm from the country. My grandmother raised me. Yeah, dog can't even come in the house. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the house. Ain't no such thing as a house dog. No dog go thing. outside. No While we eating, I can't look at a dog. That's me. Animal lovers, I'm sorry. I can't look at the damn dog while I'm eating. Fuck that dog. And if I'm not a dog person, I smell the I dog. I want to get on board. I want to okay, get on board with you, Zabo. I want to get on board with you, but I know some heavy dog. I want to say, well, fuck those dogs. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm not eating in front of those dogs. Mm -hmm. I get my burrito. We're walking out. Now when we walk out, it's like a lot of people outside for three in the morning. It's a lot of, well, I'm downtown, so I'm like, it's a lot of homeless people. I'm walking on the side of the street. See, she's walking on the inside of me. She has the bag. She's walking close to me. We're walking about five minutes. I notice a guy behind us. I ain't tripping on this guy. I've been in this position before with strange looking people around. It has nothing to do with me. I come from that environment. It means nothing. She doesn't. She's feeling like a little apprehensive about it. I'm like, hey, chill out. Chill out. Just be relaxed. Everything's good. We take a few more steps. The guy's getting a little closer to us. I'm not tripping about that. He just, you know, what is he going to do? He's a homeless guy. We're steadily walking. Now he's like right on my tail. <clears throat> okay. I want her to feel comfortable, so let me say something to the guy. All right? But I'm trying to calculate. I don't want to be misjudged this because... You know, maybe, I just don't want to miss judges. But he kind of close, so I probably should address it. I hear her say, ah! She screams. Right? Cece? She screams, right? Because I'm not looking at the situation. I know he's behind us, and I'm getting ready to address it. He comes behind us, snatches the bag. Haul ass running. He's running on 7th the Street. Food or the first? He's, the nigga got the bag. The homeless guy that was behind us snatches the bag. He's running on 7th, turns right on Spring Street downtown, hauling ass. She's shaking. I'm like, okay. First of all, I'm going to make sure you're okay. He's not running that fast. I'm going to catch him. I'm going to catch him. I'm not worried about none of that. To catch I'm going to catch this nigga. Got to catch I'm him. I'm like, you all right? Eh. Cool. Turn the corner. He's turning because you got to turn it on. So you go 7th in Spring and you're running. So I'm running. I hear some people like, go Charlie! Hey, go Charlie! Go Charlie! Go Charlie! I don't know what the fuck he got, he got. Out. He got people in the stands? Hey, bro, it's people on it's the stage. It's the whole Go Charlie, go! Go! I'm running full speed behind, and I'm gaining on him. But the nigga kind of fast. The nigga's kind of fast. I'm running. I get to, like, right where my spot is. Right where my spot is. I'm, I'm getting close to him. So we get right by the corner of six and spring. Yeah. I grabbed this nigga because he run because I ran that whole block. I ran from seventh to six. I grabbed that nigga, right? He got like a hood, all right. This motherfucker shimmies out the goddamn jacket. <laughs> Still running. Why this nigga running? I said, this nigga got a jersey on. The nigga had a Barry Sanders jersey on. No, no, he Listen did to not. me, bro. Now at this point, for me, I want my burrito. I want my burrito because I'm hungry. But you got intimidated he, a little he bit. He me about but this the hoodie nigga, and got a... Maybe he was an athlete. Because <laughs> this nigga's going. And I haven't ran this hard in a long time. So now we're on 6th, moving down spring to 5th. I'm like, this homeless dude ain't got that much stamina. You homeless. <laughs> nigga, we're running. And I see him getting, he's slowing down. I see, that's what the fuck I thought, right? So I get close enough to him, right? And I push the nigga. He slide. Nigga still got that goddamn bag. I'm trying to catch my breath. Because I don't know if I got to tussle with this dude. I don't know if he's going to. Because I'm at this point where we probably got to tussle. If you just give me my burrito, we out of here, though. Because you want the burrito? That's all I want is a burrito. But he need, but the, he burrito. need the burrito. <laughs> he need it. But here's the deal. You could have asked me and I would have bought your burrito. So I said, I push the nigga down. We both breathing hard. I say, hey, man, give me my shit. This nigga grabs the burrito, bites through the fall paper, <laughs> bit through the fall paper, and like, you still want it, nigga? <laughs> so I said, yeah, nigga, give it here. I took my shit. So I'm saying, there you go, Charlie. So I'm saying, man, I said, man, why the fuck you did that? He said, nigga, that's what I do. <laughs> I always steal nigga shit. This is the first time you caught me, though. So what's your name? What the fuck they been saying? Charlie. <laughs> I said, what? They gonna take this burrito, bro. The nigga said, that's, that's what, what I do. Bro. That nigga said, that's what I do, bro. I said, you know what, bro? I'm gonna go home and eat some noodles. <sighs> hey, bro, I had a full out run. 
a rundown of a nigga last night after the show, bruh, to get a burrito. You know why? You know why you had that? Why? Because you live downtown. Yeah. And you know what happens when you live downtown? What? Crazy shit. Speaking of which, how I lost D-Lay the other night upon us going out drinking. Side note, I want to pause and say, we're going to tell you that. And the reason why I was distracted during D-Lay's first story after the break. We'll be right back right after this. Yeah. Hey, man. Uh, this episode could not be possible. And the feeling that we uh, experienced over the last 20 minutes couldn't be possible without our sponsors. Without our sponsors. Mm -hmm. uh, Hollywood Bartenders, Inc. We want to thank them for providing this wonderful bottle of gin, Hendrix gin, and Jack Daniels. Shout out to my girl, LJ. Stop, I say! LJ. You know what I mean? Hey, man. We in this thing. And we also want to send a shout out to people who sponsor every episode. Come on. Who give what they can, mm -hmm. what they're able to give. Mm -hmm. And those are the people over at Patreon. Patreon, you got to love them. Patreon.com. We get all the exclusive Did You Miss Me content early. Some stuff you're not going to see anywhere else. Patreon. For as little as $2 a month, you can be a part of the Patreon family. I and signed up for Patreon. That's you signed up for it? I didn't even ask for the back door. Like, hey, man, you know, just let me do it. Don't forget. Oh, no, for real. Let me tell you what else going to be on Patreon. What? And I don't even know if it's, it's possible. Go but I it. think it's possible. This video. Because what didn't people didn't see at home. Is, I saw a piece of it I didn't want to see no more. No, you need to see it. Yeah. They can. They, they, and then they can do about the... Yeah. So if you want to wow. see, yeah, it's already up. Okay. So if you want to see what okay, it well, is, it and is. Like, we got to reload it. We just need to hop post the link. Uh, if you want to see the pilot uh, sizzle episode, of what we were talking mm. about in the top of the show with, with you my wife. That's in Vegas. Oh, that's in Vegas, and we're. I'm gonna be in Vegas. You saw the video? Oh, I no. saw a piece. No, no, no. Give it. Give it. I'll be in Vegas. No, no. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. No, I'm not gonna. I'm right because ain't no telling when. I ain't gonna. Ain't no telling when. <laughs> Just know I'll be in Vegas. Whenever y'all see this, I'll be in Vegas. Uh, we, we, me and my wife is literally texting right now about how this is about to go down on some Supreme. Like, she was just, she's telling me right now, literally, this. First, I'm going to let you see this because I want the people it. to go, just go ahead and play it. Go, won't you go ahead and play it? Yeah, go ahead and play it. I want you to get D-Lay's live reaction to this. This is reaction to him watching the trailer for the first time. And we love our fans to Let's upload. Some volume. Can we get some volume with that thing? Yeah, you can. I just want you to know, I want you. Oh, look at his face. The reactions. I watched literally as Ernest oh. and Simon both watched this for the first time. And you know D-Lay know how to 323, but they doing some other 323 in on there. So let me tell you about the show. The Yo. show is, oh man, he's still taking his reaction in. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, hand me that. <laughs> so, yeah. To not draw no more of that out no more. Uh, if you if you are, I don't know when you're watching this or how, but, <laughs> but I am telling you, subscribe to Patreon to hey, see that. What he hey, looked bro, at. Hey, bro, listen to me. If you never listen to the shit we said while on this podcast, if you've never been directed to anything we've sent you to, do this. You want to see that. For yourself and your family. Subscribe to Patreon. <laughs> hey, man. Oh. <laughs> to give you an oh idea about God. what the show about, it's a podcast done where they talk to people who do Damn, adult man. activities, amateur and professional. They clowning. And they clowning on there. And during the podcast, there's live demonstrations. Mm. So it ain't going to be a bunch of talking. A, hey, Billy. Hey, Billy. I want to see How that. does Did You Miss Me? Do a show with that podcast. Well, that's already happened. That's what she's saying. Because it's Dee Dee's thing that I told you about that had the six girls. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's her project. And I mm. think this. If Dee Dee had six then. Oh, no. Let me tell you something now. Dee Dee got them everywhere. They all over the globe. They're everywhere. They everywhere. They all over the place. It's a lot of, it ain't even 323 and it's 702 and it's 281 and it's 404 and. But we three two two in it. Three 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 two three in it. That's the basis for everything. Yeah, but that's where it's yeah it's all over the place. Wow. So uh man, you know, live sex. I'm glad we we brought this point up. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. glad we was mentioning that. We was just talking about that. Man, you know what? I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to say it. It's still the same thing, or you going back to it? Nah, we're going to. The, we in the podcast now. Okay. Fuck it. Canal Place. Canal Place, Houston, Texas, apartment complex. So you're talking about downtown. Downtown Houston. <clears throat> some people know about it. Most people, some people don't. Uh, I was one of the first tenants in Canal Place. Uh, me and my oldest daughter, Mama. Uh, we moved in there. I uh, whew, can't believe I'm telling y'all this. Hold it, hold it. <sighs> Billy, hold up. I want you to pause it. Because that's a suspenseful story. I want damn fool to grab this for just, just a hot second. I want to bring something else. Because I got something for you on the end of it. And I, I feel you got a suspenseful story. Yeah. That could really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really bring this. I'm going to hold that one. I need you to hold it. Just hold tight. Don't you go yeah. nowhere with it. I'm not proud of it. Let let damn mm. fool go ahead and put that navigation on this thing. Nav- damn fool, you got that steering wheel. I see it in your eyes. You got it on you. Yeah. I know, Billy. I'm sorry. I know. It's on you. I'm sorry. It's on your spirit. Because you know what? I'm not proud of myself. Billy, we all have been to that point. I'm sick. You know how many nights I've been not proud of myself? I'm sick. <laughs> Fool. That's a lot. Man. I'm sick. I'm a sick person. I know. Can, sick. can we do a toast? I'm a sick fuck. I like can we do a toast? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sick fuck. I, I like, like to sick, sick fuck. fuck. Yeah. I'm a sick fuck. I like hey, man, listen. This is to all the times we fell down and looked at ourselves the next morning and judged ourselves and said, I'm never going to do it again, and then repeated it soon after. For all those times when you were so low, you had to look up at your ankles. Yeah. <laughs> That's low, fool. Hold on. That's, <laughs> That's fucking low. You're on the ground. Nigga, you're low you as are, you can get. For all those times. <laughs> I feel bad because I like to normally blame my low moments on drugs. Yeah. And I wasn't even doing drugs like this that. This was you, natural? <laughs> this is just you me. You did this on alkaline water. Being no, this, I had two Budweiser's, man. I am for the sick. Low hey, listen, man. Do this one for the low lives. Sometimes we all get to that point. I love that. I hey, love man. That fucking but don't stay down there. Get your bitch ass up. Get up. Oh, my God. Fool, grab us in there. Bring us in there. Look. Where man. we at, fool? We can go a couple places, man. I'm going to make a left first. Make yeah. that left. We was talking about downtown LA. Mm. I first moved out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had my own version in my mind of LA. <laughs> in my mind, it was. Beaches, orgies, bitches, yeah. and drugs. Yeah. Everywhere I went, I thought I was going. It was going to be an orgy going on. Right. Like, everywhere, McDonald's, oh, Taco yeah. Bell. <laughs> I don't, nigga. The, the the waitress go. The 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 cashier gonna jump from behind the KFC thing, and she's gonna suck my dick. And then everybody in the room gonna start suck. It's just gonna it's just gonna go down. It's gonna be like an eighties video where people just start like everybody get involved. You was standing there chilling. You thought LA was just a porn. I thought every day was going to be like that. It just wasn't. But it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of failed attempts. Yeah. A lot of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, But downtowns, you know what I'm saying, have a flair. No matter where you go, downtown is always where you want to go. When you go to a city, you want to go downtown. You want to see what's downtown. I'm from Chicago. We got one of the greatest fucking downtowns you're going to ever see. Magnificent mile, whole mile full of stores. Great shit. Macy's, all that, you know, just it's amazing, you know what I'm saying? But Skyline, beautiful Skyline, this was lights. I get to downtown LA when I get here. I was like, nigga, this ain't downtown. This ain't, downtown. <laughs> this ain't what a downtown supposed to look like. That, like, no, none of this would happen. If they, 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 they cleaning and scraping all this shit up in Chicago. You niggas will not be downtown looking and acting like this. It's like, it was a whole nother thing. I'm downtown one night, probably about 12, 1. I'm walking with a young lady. A young lady named Brandy. We chilling. <laughs> Not too far from. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Dad. Thanks, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> 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 uh, but I was just trying to. Hurt food, don't go yet. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Um, <laughs> 
Hey guys, that was for you. I mean, <laughs> y'all want the names, right? We need to know who we dealing with, guys. Am I right? I guess I rolled you uh, under the bus. I don't even want to My acting skills was terrible. I was supposed to roll that. I was supposed to roll that punch. I was supposed to say no. I was supposed to Mayweather. I was supposed to Mayweather that motherfucker. I was supposed to tuck my chin and roll the shoulder, but I didn't. Tell to myself. I was like, careers involved. I just froze. Like, cause first they came to my mouth. Yeah, and I, I was even finna go that far. I was finna get you real close. I was finna say, not too far from where you far. at. I was finna let you know without then, letting you know. I'm really gonna question. Hold on, wait a minute. You say Brandon, like, right. with an I or why? Right. I was finna let you know without letting you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, damn, fellas. Can, can I drop back in there, just anywhere or wherever you want to get in that thing? So, I'm walking down the street, down the street with a young lady. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? <laughs> Yeah. We, we, we ain't gonna say her name. Well, yeah. more, or her occupation. Because <laughs> we but already said it. We we walking down the street and um, you know, I'm like, uh, it it looks like the walking dead. Yeah. Now, I've never seen an episode of The Walking Dead, but I know there's zombies in there. So I figured this is supposed apocalyptic time. You know, and shit fucked up. And the people I fucked up. So none of this is real that you see. looks fucked up. This shit looks unreal to me, nigga. It looks like I'm in a war-torn area. Like, it's fucked up. I'm like, this is downtown? Mm -hmm. Why does it look like this? A man approaches me as I'm walking. He said, hey, young blood, I want to ask you something, but I don't want to bother you. I said, oh, man, you ain't bothering me. Now, I can tell he's homeless. You know what I'm saying? How you know? I mean, I don't like to profile, but oh. <laughs> just, Get to the he was fucked up. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. He was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? First of all, this nigga had on a pair of overalls. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> wait a minute. Let's start there. Wait a minute. He had on overalls wait a with, with both straps pulled up and clipped. Like, Oh, yeah, you, overall sales. We in LA. Yeah, in LA. Downtown. We're not in Oklahoma. We're right. not nowhere near no. You got overalls that's, in Oklahoma. That's why you got on overalls. Shout out to Caleb and JoJo. You know what I'm saying? Oklahoma's finest. It's crazy. Go ahead. Them now, boys. And the thing, a thing about thing about drug addicts, dope fiends, or hypes, as we call them in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can always tell when a nigga started smoking by his outfit. <laughs> <laughs> he always looked like <laughs> when it started. <laughs> yeah, like when he fell off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, man. He's like, okay, this nigga got on some damaged overalls. He, hey, bro. Right about 92. Nigga, how you can <laughs> tell about a nigga outfit when he fell? Bro. Nah, and let me tell you something about dope face, especially the ones in Chicago. They always got a pair of old Jordan. Whether they be jump man or regular joints, I don't know if they got a, dope, a drug selling nephew that they done stolen from, but they always got a pair of old beat up ass joints. A lot of drug dealers donate their shoes to the homeless people. Exactly. To the crackheads. There's those the bins outside where you know you can reach in there and grab you some shit. Yeah. Anyway, he has on overalls. I'm not gonna go any further than that as far That's as asking you the question as to why he's homeless in my mind. Gotcha. He's got on overalls. That's enough for you. He's, he's homeless and he's a drug addict. <laughs> in my mind. You labeled the shit out of I this man. I labeled the shit out of this man. He could be an accountant. <laughs> and he just like fucking overalls. But, you know, there was other shit going on in his speeches. You know what I'm saying? Craters in his face. You know what I'm saying? Fucking all this other shit that led me to believe that there might be some street sleeping going on. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, you know, uh, what's, I don't know the word I'm looking for. I feel bad. <laughs> you no, sympathetic. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I'm I'm feeling sympathetic. I'm spelling me chat. Yeah. Fifth grade. Miracle this guy, Elementary. This guy here. So I'm uh like, hey man, what nah, what you need, brother? You know what I'm saying? I'm never you know, cause I never want a motherfucker to feel like I'm too much you know, mm -hmm. we all we human. We shit and piss out the same hoes. We like we like nigga, you just cause I got three or four hundred dollars in you today. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't mean I'm better than you. So I'm you know, trying to listen to what he got to say. He said, man, let me use your lighter. I really want to use your lighter, man. I was like, man, that's it? I got you. Come on, bro. That's a fucking lighter. I said, man, I got two lighters in my pockets. You can have one, actually. I take the lighter out. 
He was like, ah, you ain't gonna let me like this, though. This nigga got a crack stem in his hand. Now, for any of you who don't know what a crack stem is, if you, a crackhead <laughs> will take something like a, maybe an antenna off a car, break it. You know what I'm saying? Put it in, because it's, it's a cylinder, it's got a hole in it, they can put the fucking crack in the end of it and light it and smoke it. And they need something usually metal or some of them are engineers. Crackheads are amazing motherfuckers. When you yeah. want to get high, Brilliant. you're going to find a way. They can smoke crack These motherfuckers apple. will take an apple, an apple. They will take motherfucking uh, cocaine. A SOS pad and use Ooh, the, the cocaine. cocaine. Nigga, they will find a way. Black so, guy used to use cocaine. He shows me the stem. It's in his hand. He's like, ah, he ain't going to let me like this, is he? I was like, you goddamn right I'm not going to let you fucking right. like that. Are you fucking? I said, we downtown, you man. You are accessory to the crack. You shouldn't be downtown with that. Oh man, let's, I'm sorry, brother. But you gonna still let me have the lighter. You said you, you had two, you ain't need but one of them. You gonna let me have the other one. I said, fuck no, nigga. If you gonna smoke crack, you gonna find another way to do it. I'm not gonna assist you in that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, and I don't really have a wraparound or end to the story. It's just, <laughs> I really couldn't fucking believe that downtown LA looked that bad. It's bad. And that this dofine asked me to like his stem with my shit. Now, oh, let me turn right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Man, this thing. <laughs> that was down. <laughs> we went two different places with these stories. You started out with the, uh, you or you went with the whole with Didi and the, and that thing. Yeah, that was a lot. Yeah, for you, to, I, you know. Mm -hmm. man, I want you to know that I'm with you. I, you know, I've always been a motherfucker. Like it's certain shit I'm not gonna try, okay? okay. Because I don't want to like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing no butt play, none of that shit. Because listen, hey, I feel like this, nigga. Whatever you do. Now, I don't, I'm not gonna do it. But whatever you do with a woman, it can't be gay because you're with a fucking woman. You know what I'm saying? If she put a finger in your ass, hey, it's a woman. You ain't letting no nigga named Charles stick his finger in your ass. That's your business, man. When you do, if you do some shit with a woman, <laughs> it's my grip. Oh, you do some shit with a woman, that's what y'all do. But my thing is, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna fuck around and find out that I like this. Because <laughs> now, I got the urge for something in my head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to be that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't, it's a slippery fucking slope, man. Now, not saying you're going to slip all the way the fuck down. I'm just saying. It's a slippery slope. Mm. I, I knew right away. I don't, I don't want to go there because I've heard the stories like, oh, man, this, this little pot in, you, in the inside, right by your goddamn whatever the fuck. I don't even know nothing. Now, now, like that. now, here's the deal. Now, that little thing, what's it called again? The prostate. 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 Pro that little area? Yeah. Well, no, it's not the, no, I, I just that's want to know the area. If anybody, what's that area called? Are we, oh, it's, it's, called? That's the it's, 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 or, or the yeah. it's been preferred, referred to as the gooch. 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 The man gooch. gooch. The guy gooch. gooch. I don't like guy gooch. Don't that like sounds guy. horrible. Taint. Yeah. Taint. T-A-I-N-G. Taint. All right. Now, that taint area, I never wanted that fucked with. Yeah. I just never wanted it fucked. I had never had it fuck with. Don't want it fuck with. But I had it fuck with. Yeah. But you ain't got a woman. So. Nigga. You see. I didn't. I don't need you that close to my ass. Yeah. You know what first I mean? of all. Like, yeah. like for me, like, I don't want you licking my ass. Mm -hmm. You can do it, but I don't want it. That little spot right there. <laughs> I don't really want it. I discovered that I want it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. You don't. Want what is to, that? You don't want to know that you want. Who it. did that? Yeah, they put who that made pressure. that? Who put that? What there? are you doing? Just, just, just tongue around that area. Yeah. Just tongue around that there. Don't try to go up. Don't. Uh -uh, a light, down a here. light swipe Stay here around there. And there. ball here and ball, taint. I don't. And ball. It's a street. It's called Tame Ball. Tame Ball. Give me at the corner. Tame Ball. Anytime. I need you right there at the corner. Tame Ball. And don't go, don't go. Listen, don't go south. Up third, don't go up the south third. Anytime, yeah. you, you gotta go there. Anytime go there you're a grown man, yeah, and you reach for something like, when you did. Yes, <laughs> yeah, 
Tank, that's tank. When the bitch make you do that, you don't feel Rev, the same. Right? No. You can't talk to her no more. No. Uh, you got to leave. You get like it, when you can't. If I, yeah, and you got dreads. If you, you swing your you shit, can, <laughs> you got to leave my house. If like you can't, can't be here no more. Uh, See, you, you know why they do that? Yeah, you got to know why they do that because they told. I don't want to be friends with you. Yeah, you got to get out of here. They told me why they do that. Why? Why? You know why they do that? Because my sister, she was doing that to her her, her little niggas. And she said, she around the taint, around the taint, around the taint ball? She was, she was shoving shit in them. <laughs> it's outright. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, guys. Stop. We can't just throw. Hey. Hey. Hey, come get this nigga, man. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hey. He threw that out there and kept going. Y'all heard it? You got to back that bitch up. She was, what the girl, what, what's she doing? Hey, shoving shit in niggas. Hey, you, you know when you play pool? <laughs> hey, that's damn sure your sister. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Hey, that's yeah. damn sure your sister. You know, this, you know how you gotta have that elbow to do this? Yeah. To, to, Stick. To, to, to do your shot? Yeah, she got that motion down. <laughs> now, I don't know exactly, you know. Is she running up in them? What she told me was, she says, well, Billy, let me tell you what that is. That's called breaking. So she oh, yeah. L cool J she's, niggas. Yeah. She said, I'm breaking them. And what happens is, whatever they had sexually that they was into, I'm going to bring something out of them sexually that breaks them to the point where they're depending on me to get that feeling again. How keep, old is she at this keep point? Keep your sister the fuck away from me. Hey, <laughs> That's true, so dude. Her mindset is like, you know, once I have you in the relationship, that's one thing. Then the emotions, that's another thing. I'm going to open you up, and then I'm going to break you. And then once they break you, then you are emotionally dependent. What type of military sex Your sister's concentration camp yeah. bullshit? Your sister's 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 drill drill and then what happens is, Your then you can't Hitler. leave. You know why you can't leave? Because you're worried somebody's going to know about it. So you got to stay. Because you keep, one, you got, you, you, it's, like, it's like an addict. First, like when the dope man, when he put the crack on you the first time, once he get you hooked, you, you going back to him for She's that feeling. She's bringing niggas out. She got a strong Oh, out. yeah, she turned niggas on. She way. breaking niggas like she a pimp. Like, yes. Pimps Bro, break bitches. Grown men. Pimps you know what I'm saying? and drill sergeants. She breaking yeah. these niggas. Yeah, they break you yeah, and rebuild the you. They want you. They rebuild you. Who you and, want to do? And, you know, you that's just, that once you understand that that's, that's how and why it, it happens with that control or that, you know, turn them out, they associate you with the same thing the stuff we used to do all the time. How is your sister? I said, okay, we're going to stop by my, my sister. Uh, second time somebody asked that, that boy jump over there. My, my sister is three years younger than me. See, that's where I fucked up because I'm thinking like she was the older sister. Like nah, I knew she it. was grew up in the eighties, so I she liked it. androgynous niggas. I just want to why would she want to? I'm not finna go there. See, she don't have she didn't have a type of nigga like a pretty nigga or this type of nigga. She she would destroy football players. She just want to dominate a motherfucker. She, she would she, she would just dom wanna dominate. Yeah, she would dominate, and yeah. it's just something that would happen once I understood that, and our relationship changed. You know, now she married, you know, kid, different life. You know what I'm saying? But at the time, yeah. she was breaking niggas. Breaking niggas all the way. And then I was just like, that's what you're doing to him? Yep. And I was like, okay, well. And you know, it's accepted, because I mean, if you want a woman to dominate you, give us a call, 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you. Listen, we got a, it's a lot of them in our DMs asking. They want to be dominated. I, I, I got to do this, because I have to do this. Talk to me. And I feel like uh, I'm going to stop making excuses not to do this. So I'm going to do you this. You know what excuses are? It's tools of incompetence. And they're mm -hmm. monuments of nothing. Those, those who made you not achievements are not achievements. They're not achievements. Uh, for those of you at home, uh, there's a young lady who said, I need somebody to get over to me. Mm. I need some dick. Mm. And uh, she said, get, get them over there to me directly. I mean, she didn't, she didn't want us to kind of, she didn't give us that, but three, four, six, I'm right. going to, I'm going to help you out. St. Louis. No, no uh, that's three, four, six. That's I think three, that's one. a new, four, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I think that might be a new Houston number. Three, four, six. Yes. Yeah. Houston? Well, check, check that, that out. out. Uh, uh, Simon, if you could run the numbers on that. Right. I feel like I'm on ESPN. If you could run the numbers on that. Somebody we, And we're going to run the number on coordinates. this. The What is it? So what we got, what we're pulling up? Yeah, it's, Houston, it's a new updated Houston. number, Houston. This is the new Houston. Okay, new Houston. this ain't Billy. Do you have any type of uh, 
photograph that identifies this woman. Watch this. This is what's going to happen. Come on now. Run it. What she's asking for is I need some dick, and I need you to get over here to me now directly. Speak your mind, lady. I don't lady. need you to filter it out. Come on now. So for gentlemen out there that would like to audition to in be that a new suitor for that dick, That's in that give area. this number a call. And it's going to be the first time we ever give I'll out another number. Zoom. Fuck that. Uh, Text damn fool, wait. <laughs> we could just let damn fool handle it? Nah, but well, we know he gonna get the job. We know he's gonna get the job. But that may not, that may not be what she wants. She want, she might want all of it. So we want to make stop sure. Stop choosing for you, ma'am. Right. You may right. want several dicks. Exactly. Who are we? So I'm gonna to go ahead and you from the dicks. I'm gonna limit your dick. Billy. The number is 346 234 one Number again, 346 234 one Um I don't think that uh, she wants a lot of conversation here. You just need to send the picture that you have that identifies you and what you do in that specific area. She's going to make the best. Please don't go in there with a lot of talking. They don't need a lot of talking. It's not all the theory. Don't need to see your face. And the dialogue. Yeah. She ain't asking for that. We, no we, weird messages. We no, I'm coming to see hey, you. Hey, hey, hey so what, what you oh, shoot that you number over. Extra filibustery. Like, nah. What do you do don't, for don't a living shit? Go yeah. ahead. Straight to the meat and potatoes. Right yeah. to the right to the to the meat. I don't even know if you want potatoes. Shit. It's thick. You know, it sticks to you. And CD, that's why it's like this whole vibe we got right now with this shit that's happening crazy. Yeah. It's gonna keep happening crazy. It has to. You know why? Because you left me the other night. Did I leave you? Yeah, you left me. Okay. You remember you left me. Okay. You walked off on me because you was fucked up. Mm. But it's not your fault. Yeah. Cause that's we saw some shit. We saw a cartel twelve in, in person. In Pison downstairs, downtown. I couldn't get over there to her, but I had to. Tour. Oh my gosh! Yes! <laughs> it just hit me. I did leave you, Billy. And I apologize. Yeah, and let me tell you what happened when you left me. Uh, At the corner, at the same corner of Sixth and Spring, where these. Uh, A lot happens on that goddamn corner. Happened you know? to be. There were two Mexican men who had just left from the Rolling Loud after party. <laughs> And uh, Wiz Khalifa was hosting. These Mexican gentlemen was at the corner of 6th and Spring ah. arguing. Uh -huh. But they got to the point where it was really not an argument. I'm like, I'm walking up on an argument. It's like it's in Spanish. They ain't in Spanish. They ain't English. You want to do it right here? I do it right here. Come on, I do it right here right now. I, I do it right here. Come on, I do it right They are head to head, head butting each other, face to face, like, let's do it right here. What they end up saying, no, please, too many people. Come on, down the street. So they're negotiating the terms of where they're going to fight at. Well, they got to find a location. So the Mexican number one, because that's what I'm calling them. And, and, you know, he could be Puerto Rican, but at this point, they Mexicans in my eyes because I'm mm. telling the fucking story because I don't know. And, and, and it sounded. I like Juan. You want to give him a name? Give him Juan. Juan and. Uh, Guillermo. Guillermo. <laughs> Guillermo, yeah. I just like So, it. cool. Juan and Guillermo. Guillermo. G. And, G, yeah, G. G for short, because mm -hmm. I don't know their names. Does not sound racist. Got it. G Mo. Juan turns to walk down Spring Street. I'm sorry, Sixth Street. Guillermo swings at Juan. I don't know where the fuck Juan had his golden gloves training at, mm -hmm. but the, the, the motherfucker ducked the punch from behind, from behind, turned around, and then was behind the nigga that swung at him. I like where this is going. He swung, he ducked it, got behind him, and was like this. And the other dude, G, around. he's now having a turnaround. Turn around, come see me. Let me tell you, G is scared. You know why he's scared? Because he was trying to knock his fucking beak off, and he, he missed. missed. Right. And he didn't miss because he didn't see him. Right. He missed because Juan ducked the punch, rolled, and turned and was standing right and behind him. He didn't him. have a plan B for that. He didn't have no plan B for that because that fight was over with. Right. So what that, you're saying is, G bomb first. Yeah, yeah. G bomb first. <laughs> yeah, like and pop, misfired, and what? And dipped it. Yeah, it yeah. dipped it like Mike. Then came with the knee. Yeah, he didn't come with the knee. <laughs> what he did was he came straight with the jab. Uh. Open that boy mouth all up. Boom. Ooh. Hey, come on, come on. So now, one really don't want this fight no more. But he can't bitch out because he drunk and his friends like, come on, come on. So now, it's on. I say, oh, yeah, this, this is all me right here. Because as soon as I seen them head to head, I flipped my phone out. I said, yeah, it's going down downtown. 
So I got it on video. What proceeds to happen next is Juan, Mexican number one, is like, you know what? Come on, let's let's go down the street some more. Cause that's that's uh, I'm sorry, G, Mexican number two. That's who told him to go down the street. Says, let's go down the street some more. Cause he ain't got no fight. He just trying to get him somewhere else out the way, cause he probably gonna get his ass whooped. You know that. Right. So he's walking down. Shoot this <laughs> one, the dude that got swung at, that ducked the punch and then gave the jab, gave the calmest walk. Okay, let's go. We go back here, we handle it. He walking. <laughs> two niggas. Now I'm saying two niggas, cause that's what the fuck they was. Right. Two niggas on the wall. One of them got tattoos on his face. The other nigga was just standing there. It was like, yeah, man, y'all need to take that down there. Go ahead, take that down there. I'm like, yeah. Take that shit down there so we can get it on. I, I got the camera rolling. Y'all just don't get him away. I'm telling them that. So we walking down. They both get to the same spot. Mexican number one, one who ducked the punch. Just obviously got golden gloves trained. Clearly. He Clearly. looks down the alley and says, eh, I don't see no police down here. What you see on that side? Guess what he run into? Runs into a motherfucking fist. Because Mexican <laughs> number one, one does swung. And hit him with his goddamn <laughs> chin. Guess what he runs? <laughs> so now, as much as I want, look, fist. so so I want to say you got some bullshit Golden Gloves training because you already know you're supposed to keep your guard up at all times. Come on, right. So you don't you 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 I don't know who trained you. He didn't pull the, the right. boy. With he the trained you to have eyes in the back of your head, but they ain't trained you to stop giving this nigga an open shot at you while the fight is on. Right. I guess he keep thinking that it's a, it's gonna be fair, so he can hit in the mouth. Boom, he leaking. So now they finna start fighting. I'm right there, I got my camera out. The black dudes come over. They ready to get it on. Mesky number two, who already just bombed and hit him in the mouth, swung again. When he swung, Mesky number one got up under them punches, hit that boy with the bing, 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 bing. Three of them things. But he, cried, he, he grabbed it. He ain't let him fall. Pushed him back up, hit him again. He says, come on, fight me, fight me, pussy. I'm like, oh shit, I ain't never in the history of fighting seen a nigga keep the fight going because he want to keep beating his ass. Right. He caught him. He hit him three times, caught him, and pulled him back up. Like, nah, nigga, you ain't finna fall out on no, this. I just seen a nigga knock a nigga out, wake him up, and knock him out again. Man, look, shit ain't right the way he was bouncing his man head around downtown. He was wailing on his ass. So much so that they locked up. And at this point, I'm like, oh shit, the fight finna be over. LAPD pulls up. I say, oh shit. Cops. Cops look over, see what's going on. They keep going. We downtown. We downtown. They ain't getting in that. They ain't getting in this alley shit. fight. Hey, we y'all deal with that bullshit. But I say, hey man, come on now, let's keep it a good fight, fellas. Let's unlock. <laughs> I'm now Mills Lane. Cause I'm definitely <laughs> selling this. Cause I'm narrating. <laughs> but Richard stealing this bitch. <laughs> but I know the rules of hood and street fighting. Uh -huh. It ain't your fight. You don't get your ass too close to it. Please. That bitch can turn to you. It can get on you. Or like somebody it. else could come in and think you starting some shit with them and bomb on your ass. Right. So I'm, I got the cameraman. I'm like, hey, nigga, I'm just recording. That's the tag. No, and I'm yelling out shit. H-Town shit. We say, ain't no jumping. Ain't no jumping. Ain't my fight. I don't know these he people. You don't even know these people. I don't know these people, but I'm calling the rule. Hey, man, ain't no jumping. He now called, somebody could have said, fuck you, nigga, that's my cousin. We jumping. Hey, then what? Well, I guess y'all jumping, because jump, I don't right. care. Now they jumping, y'all. Yeah, they jumping. So you got to say that. Right. So I'm saying, ain't no jumping. The two niggas to move over and run what I like to play, I like to call a blue 52. The blue 52 is they came over, yeah, man, come on, y'all y'all break it up. Y'all stand up. Fight straight up. Fight straight up. They walk over, and instead of grabbing to break it up, they both grab at their motherfucking wallets and pockets. They digging it. But these two motherfuckers is so enraged, they're not gonna let go to grab for their pockets. The niggas is running through their pockets. They taking phones, wallets, all that shit. Now I'm recording, so I say, oh shit, these niggas stealing. I can't be the nigga that's a snitch by accident. <laughs> so now I gotta turn and be like, oh, them, let them boys do their thing. Cause uh -huh. obviously, these niggas seen the opportunity and went for it. So they go in their pockets. Oh, that's why, that video you why saw. Why these oh niggas still grappling? Gosh. They still grappling. Oh, yeah, the, the, the two Mexicans locked up. So the niggas go in their pockets. Going to work. Yes. Now, one of the buddies comes over and is like, y'all, come on, break it up. He don't see. They go in this nigga pocket. Take his phone, jump out of there. And they say, hey, man, hey. He was like, yeah, nigga, what's up? And they yell, what's up, was more than what the Mexican wanted. So he went back to breaking up his, his drunk homeboy. Right. So they walk off from the fight, being blindly robbed, still talking shit. So I got the camera. I said, so how'd you feel to come out victorious, man? It looked a little shaky <laughs> in the beginning of it. And if you want to see that video, yeah. I'm going to give it to the guys. 
Because you know it's a video. Yeah. And it's on, it'll be available on Patreon. Can we please stay right here for a second? Okay. Go ahead. In this, in this whole fight thing. Yeah. Like, because like, there's, there's, there's so many moments when, like, a fight breaks out and you weren't expecting it. Or a motherfucker get, show you something that you weren't expecting. Oh, man. Like, I'm, uh, I was with my uncle, right? My uncle, you know what I'm saying? May he rest in peace, man. More, like, I love him to death. But he, um, he was a hustler. Real life hustler, like, you know, he didn't sold everything from drugs to pussy to catfish sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he take care of his family. That's what it sounds like. He but take care of his family. Catfish sandwiches. Yeah, ex exactly. Bonus cat. He's <laughs> for ladies. You know what I'm saying? So he's he's a hustler. You know what I'm saying? And he's also he's also a scammer at times. You know what I'm saying? We've at touched times. On, we've touched on scamming tonight as well. So. Yeah. This story has a little bit of both, scamming yeah. and fighting. I like it. So we out running a scam. I'm young. I'm probably about 14. It's my uncle. I look up to him. I love him to death. You know what I'm saying? At the time, he's got a cocaine problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, he's a, uh, he, he, nephew, I got to get right. Now, I know when you go out with uncle, you're going to get some money. Uncle, pull up. Nephew, you got your car, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, huh? Let's go get some money. I need some money. I'm riding with Uncle. Get in the car with Unc. Unc say, let's ride. Now, Unc likes to run what they call the short change game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now, man. I'm not going to give you too much of how it go because I don't want to fuck this up for all the short change runners out there. But short change game has a couple of, has three elements. You got, well, really, you can do it with two. You got your person who's running the change, running the short change game, and then you got your interference. Mm. I ran interference for Unc because I'm a good talker. So my job is when we get in here to keep the manager or anybody with any sense busy. Right. And that's, His and job, that's, a, and that's a word on, the, on this show. You know what it's called? Keep, keep talking. talking. Play up. You no matter it. what you scamming, doing, yeah. keep, keep talking. talking. You get jammed up by your lady. That's keep my, talking. talking. That's my job. Yeah. Keep talking. And yeah. that's all uncle say. Nephew, keep talking. Yep. Find something to tell him about. Ask him something you need. Show him something over here. I'm a, I'm great at this. I'm amazing. So I'm loving. I don't. I got the easy job. Unc' job is to come in, find what he calls a robot. Somebody you can put the code in and control. Okay. That's his thing. Control the motherfucker. So he find his robot. In odd terms, I guess a lane. He find him. That's the one. His thing is he runs to. He gets to the thing. He's got to spill. You got. All of this is about. Talking, yeah. you gotta keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. He gets to the register. Man, look here, you know what I'm saying? I got a little, me and some of my homies would get together every now and then, play a little poker, you know what I'm saying? Some of my, my war buddies, I'm a war veteran, you know what I'm saying? Oh, love it. Oh, it. sir, thank you for your service. Oh, no problem, don't worry about it. You know, yeah, so we all get together and you know, we play a little poker. So I need some change. That's what, I'm gonna need some change. You know what I'm saying? Now, I got $20. That's all he needs to start the short change game. He come in here, he got 20 fucking dollars. Okay, Unc gonna turn his twenty dollars into a, over a thousand if he can, cause see Unc has moves he gonna pull it. Now the way it works, just the gist of it, cause like I said, I don't wanna give too much. Basically, Unc gonna take this twenty. He gonna ask her to, the cashier to break it down for him. Now at first he gonna ask for one denomination, right? She gonna get that back to him. But what he's gonna do is make sure he never hands her the twenty. He just lays it on the counter. Now. He's talking and running the game. So as when she counts out the change, he takes the change, sits it on top of the 20. She's talking. She's not paying attention. He's got a good story. She's in, she's in just like right now. Everybody right now is looking at me in my face because I'm telling a story. Right. And if I wanted to, I can go in somebody's pocket right now. You, you know what I'm saying? If I handed you something right now, I you could take whatever's take in your so other hand you because I'm handing you something. And, I, I and I'm talking to you at the same time. So I could take whatever's in your hand because I hand you this. Right. Unc knows all this. He sets the money on top of the money. Now he picks it all up mm -hmm. and says, you know what? Flips it over. Now the twin is on top. Matter of fact, Instead of this, give me this denomination. And he asked for it. Now it's $40, though. He'd already doubled his money. Because she thinks she's put the 20 from the first change she gave him in the drawer. She thinks he's gave her enough. Now, she's going to give him another set of chains. And he's going to repeat this process over and over. And he's got other moves that he's do. Like, I've seen Unc get it so good to the point where 
he's reaching in the register. <laughs> like, yeah, give me two of these, one of those, a five, four ones. And, and, and they stand there like, oh, yeah. And so how many of your friends are playing poker with you? And he's just going to work. Now I'm over here like, so uh, you say this got an LCD screen on it. <laughs> now, now, now what's the difference between LCD and a regular like flat screen? Like what, do they, are they all flat? So since they all flat, what, what, what's the deal on it? I'm, I'm running. I'm, well, come over here. Let me ask you about this radio. I'm, I want to know everything. I need to know everything in the store. Because see, the manager got enough sense to, if she see this bitch at the register giggling too much, and this nigga reaching in the register. What is this? Oh, I need to go see what's going on. Right. So I got to keep her busy. Hey, ma'am, can we come? I, and you know, I'm a comedian. I'm, I didn't know this yet, because I'm still in high school, but I'm, I'm doing voices. I'm changing my accent. Excuse me, ma'am, could you, could you show me something over here? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm in town from London. I'm just going, like, I'm going in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My accent's horrible. Right, but, but they don't know. She ain't never been outside of forever the fuck we at. She don't know. She Keep think talking. I'm really from London. I'm going to work. We having a ball. Keep talking. Keep talking. Unk running the game. Now, that's the game. So, one day, Unk comes to get me. Of course, Unk got to get a taste before we go. Got to have it. Got to have a taste. Nephew, look, man, you know how I work, man. I'm always been a no judgment zone ass right. nigga. I don't give a fuck. Hey, family can say what they want to. Unk my nigga. I know he got my back a hundred grand. He wanna stop and grab this here. We finna grab that there. Yeah. He said, oh, nephew, you got that 20 on? I said, I got 20 on, man. He said, now look, we need 20 to play the game, but I need 20 to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, ain't got, he... I ain't got but 20. So I'm like, shit, I got to get up to another 20. So, hey, look, hey, baby girl, I've been scamming. <laughs> so short. Hey, can I, hey, look, I'm trying to get you, I need a little $20. I don't know why my voice always talk like that. <laughs> when somebody's scamming, hey, look here, let me get that. <laughs> so she give me, I swing by there, get the $20. Tell her I need it for gas, some shit. I don't know what the fuck I told her. Right. Swing by there and get the 20 I'm good. I tell the motherfucker anything. You know what I'm saying? I swing by there, get the $20, swing back. Take off by the project. He get his, he get his thing. He, he ready. Let's go, nephew. All right, let's go. We hit it. Unc say, I know a place we can start out at. Get real good. I double up on this dumb ass nigga all the time. We get there. It's a Dunkin' Donuts on 79th Street. 79th and fucking Vincennes, right by the fucking uh, CTA bus station. Yeah. We get there. Unc walk in. He running the game. He killing. He is banking the shot. You know what I'm saying? We always bank off the fact that even if we get caught, book it. We thinking like your boy. What was his name? Charlie. Charlie. Book Go. it. Ain't nobody Go, finna chase Go. you. Go, Charlie. Just like you with your, with your Wendy's thing. Ain't nobody finna chase me. You too shocked. It's for, it ain't your money. You don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But you always find that one nigga mm -hmm. that like his job too fucking much. It ain't your money, dog. That one nigga that wants to be the savior, that one robocop ass money, nigga, it's that one choice. Captain America. We dog. ran into that nigga this day. We in the fucking thing, man. Unk running the game. I'm see, nigga, I'm over there going nuts. He killing them so hard, you know what I'm saying? Now, I got the wrong nigga. I think I got the manager. Because you know when you look in certain places, it's a different shirt means you see a nigga in a white shirt. Manager, it's Pam. Hey, man, look, so about these, uh, Apple fritters, like is that so? Is that a donut or is that like a? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it's called Dunkin' Donuts. You know what I'm saying? Talking. It ain't called Dunkin' pa Dunkin' Pastries. It ain't called that. So no, is that please. is that actually a donut? Like you know what I'm saying? What is what is a fritter like? And is the apple inside of it? Can I can I can I sample one of them? <laughs> Since I'm going in, Unc raping this nigga at the register. The other manager, young nigga, comes to the front. He got his little cornrows to the back. But he a manager. He's, 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 he's happy to have this job. He's Calvin. Yeah, I remember. Remember yeah, Calvin McDonald's. from the McDonald's? Calvin got a job at McDonald's. Yeah. This nigga's Calvin. He's excited. He's the hood hero because he works at fucking Dunkin' Donuts and he's a manager. Nigga, Calvin, peep what's going on. Calvin leapfrog over the goddamn counter. Lock the door. He's going, hey, he's going Vern on me. Yeah. He's going Vern Now you can't leave. We didn't win Bronx Tale. 
<laughs> he done went sunny on us, nigga. I'm like, oh, so that's what this is. Now, I am ready. I've been waiting for one of these moments. I'm 14, 15. I'm playing football. I've been lifting a little weights. I think I'm the shit. I'm right. not ready to beat up my mom boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> nigga. I'm ready for something while I'm with Unc to go down. So I'm like, because Unc, he got to be striking 50 at this time. Right. You know what I'm saying? He just died not too long ago, like 60 something. So he had to be like 50 then. You know, like, no, this was shit. He had to be in his 40s. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's like late, mid 40s. So it's like he owed to me shit. You know what I'm saying? So we, yeah. we get that. Plus, he's on drugs. So he looks a little older than he really is. It's, it's a little more, what's the word, dilapidated? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking. I'm thinking I'm finna go protect Unk. Unk is Floyd Mayweather Sr. I don't know this though. You ever seen Floyd Mayweather Sr.? This nigga look like he's on his last leg. He look like he died 14 years ago. But the nigga is amazing yeah. with the shit. You hear me? There's a video on YouTube of Floyd Mayweather, father right now at 65, hitting the mitts. He's amazing. He's faster than a motherfucker. This is Unk. Unk ready. I don't know this. I run over there. I'm ready to knock this nigga out. Nigga, the nigga balls his fist up at my uncle. Now I'm really charged. He takes a swing. Unk dipped. He take two more swings. Oh, oh, oh. Unk whack, whack. He dipped both of them. And then I see Unk start moving in on him. Like he coming, <laughs> he coming like this. You know what I'm saying? My man going ham. Unk just whack, whack. He ain't threw a punch yet. Man, I swear to God, and I'm not lying. This is where people stop believing the story. Okay. And think I'm like, Unk threw his hands behind his back and stuff. <laughs> we, cause he wants this nigga to know you're nothing. He going ham. He weaving through this nigga. He gets up on the young nigga and push him up against the door. While he got him up against the door, pent, he unlocks the door. You know what I'm saying? Comes off the door. Come on, young blood. My man come at him again. Whip, whip, whip. This is when I knew the young man was frustrated. <laughs> that nigga said, ah! <laughs> <laughs> When you make uh, a grown nigga uh, say, ah! <laughs> That nigga turned into my seven-year-old son. <laughs> that nigga, he's like, sit still! Sit still? Damn. Hell no. Nah. How old are you? <laughs> you better get that work. I said, young blood, just say what you want. Go on, let us up out of here. <laughs> now, 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 I didn't flap out an intricate part of the story. My cousin Joseph is there. Joseph is my nigga. Like, this is my ex boom coon. Joseph, like, my rappy. Anytime I never do some bullshit, Joseph was with me. The unique thing about Joseph is, Joseph has always been swole since he was a baby. He was born swole. This nigga ain't never worked out a day in his life, but he built like Schwarzenegger. Nigga, the nigga run up. After all this and happened, unked and opened the door, all this maneuver, Joseph finally catch on to what's going on. I'm standing there in the maze. I'm locked. I didn't know Uncle was this cold. Joseph run up, scoop the nigga, slam him. Uncle look at him. Hey, man, he ain't had to do all that. He was all right, man. <laughs> Unk don't want to hurt the little nigga. He just wants him to know, hey, man, this ain't what you want. <laughs> uh, you didn't have to hurt the little nigga. He was all right. <laughs> man. Nigga, we leave up out of there. Your teeth with a heart. Nigga, nigga we leave up heart. out of there. We in the car. Unk like, hey, man, look, sometimes you ain't got to put your hands on a nigga. I was like, that's the really shit I've heard. And I was, I just drove the rest of the way in fucking amazement. And I was like, nigga, can you please teach me this? Right. <laughs> I just want to do that to a nigga one time in my life. Can you imagine if you're in a fight and a nigga see you do that? Yeah, that, it happened to me and yeah. I got my ass knocked out. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah. <laughs> my, got I'm my ass. sure the fuck you I did. I did it. I dropped that thing like this and did that and got hit <laughs> smooth with a straight jacket. Oh, you went with the I, sugar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. The sugar shimmy. Yeah, man. And got my, man, I got my dick knocked in the dirt. That's what happened. <laughs> Man, he knocked. I told y'all that on the story on the podcast. The that nigga knocked me into that Saturn, man, outside of Richfield Manor. Hey, bro, let me tell you something. I had, uh, speaking of fights, 
had dinner tonight with Deion Sanders. Who? Prime time. <laughs> Prime time. You see how, let me say, time. first, E got money. A big E got money. He got money. Big money E. And, 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 a, and a big big time promotion. He still got the money. And then on you come on over here places. just dropping the fact that you hanging out with NFL Hall of Famers and shit. Yeah, he yeah. called me. He just said it like a Now you nothing. see that? And Dion yeah. called him. You I like that? niggas who do amazing he shit. He said, hey man. Talk about it like it's regular shit. Yeah. Hey man, um, well, yeah. I'm like, I'm in LA. He said, I gotta see. I'm a. I gotta show y'all shit. What I tell y'all is what the fuck it is. Right, that's what it is. You gotta prove shit. Hey man, I wanna see you, bro. I said, okay, well, I'm gonna be doing our podcast tonight. Um, I'll shoot over to your hotel. And then from there, you know, head over to my podcast. We're sitting down together and we're talking, sharing stories because he's a phenomenal storyteller. I can imagine. And at some point, he's going to do the podcast. And we're talking and he's tell- he tells me about this fight. The reason why he tells me about the fight is I asked him if he was familiar with the podcast. Mm-hmm. And he said, yeah, I am familiar with it. I haven't really seen much of it, but I'm familiar with it. So I show him, like, maybe a five minutes of Boo Capone. Tupac, Michael Jackson fight. <laughs> yeah. He said, oh, man, I'm going to tell you something right now that's crazier than ever. I'm going to tell you a fight that people didn't even think even happened. I'm like, okay. Yeah, man, Mike Tyson and Nas. Right? <laughs> Dion <laughs> said it. Dion said it. What the fuck y'all talking about? It's Hall of Fame. I said Nas, nigga. This is this. I'm, this is this happened nigga, two hours ago. It, stop it. I don't give a damn when you see it. It happened two hours ago. He said Nas and Tyson had a fight. I'm like, nigga, please run it. He says fight night in Vegas. Mike Tyson is fighting whoever he's fighting prior to his first loss. So he don't mm-hmm. remember who that is. But he knows it's fight night and everybody's out there. He said, I'm prime time, baby. You know I'm out there. <laughs> you know I'm out Every, there. Everywhere, everywhere's hot, I'm out there. If you don't know shit, that's I'm flying in cars. I'm prime time. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, you at the fight, you hanging out the whole night. He said, when prime time do things, it's prime time. It's prime time. Whenever I do it, it's prime time. I don't care when you start it. Whenever I come in, it's prime time. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. He said, now we have fight night. Now, I got my crew with me, and we're moving and facilitating to the spot, and Tyson win that night. Now, everybody knows that Tyson is going to go to wherever the hot spot is. Now, it's just hosting a spot on Las Vegas Boulevard called The Goat. Mm-hmm. It ain't there now. Trust my word. Cool, D. I believe you. I'm rolling with you. So, they're getting to the spot. It's packed. Nas is hosting. Mike Tyson come in there. Still got his outfit on, the fight kit. Got the robe, the black shorts, no socks. <laughs> what? With the shoes. What? Dion said it. The niggas in the club with the robe on, a whole full fight gear. Because the fight didn't last too long. What the so the nigga ain't, just, ain't no sense of changing. Let's just show up as is. Are you thinking of the visual as you I see the, whole, see the whole goddamn Do thing. You see, this? see the whole goddamn thing. Place is packed. Mike goes in, grabs the mic from DJ Kid Capri. Mush this nigga. Knock this nigga headphone to the side. We got the gloves on. Mush, he don't have the gloves on. Mush this nigga. He said, all these bitches are mine. All these bitches are mine. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, what niggas fuck did you say? I mean, you can't say nothing. It's Mike. He just what won. He's a heavyweight champion of the world. You can't say shit. Who you gonna call over? It's Mike. All these bitches are mine. Nas knows that everybody. He just started going at Nas. Nas is like, man, we supposed to be cool. What's the beef for? All these bitches of mine. Gets on the turntables, started DJing. People don't know that prior to Custom Model, who was his trainer, he was trained to be a DJ because Ron DMC was his people. He was fucking with them people. Wow. So that's that's a gym. He's on there, drops his own beat, so it's freestyling. Whether you like it or not, niggas, Mike, you got to get it up. You gotta give it up. You gotta give it up. Mike in there wrecking that hoe. Nas is like, wait, it's my party. You know, oh, this ain't really cool. Nas. Nas approaches him, 
he puts his hand on Nas's chain. He didn't push him. He just put his hand on his chain, which is disrespectful. Because Nas is Nas, and you don't do Nas like that. Yeah. Nas is like, what's the beat, Mike? He said, you don't already know what it is. All these bitches are mine. All these bitches are mine. He on his thing. That's, that's the hook to it, so. He said, man, what, you know, what is it what is he want to do? I was going to battle you right now, one-on-one. -on -one. It's a battle. Oh, come oh, on, Mike. Man. They start going at it. That, Mike. They going at it. We don't even understand you, Mike. They going at it. Ain't nobody going nowhere, and ain't nobody recording it this time. So Dion said it. So you got to take it. You got to take it. They in there going hard. What happened was when Nas gets to Mike, Mike's standing there, still got the gear on, robe, shorts, no socks, black shoes, standing there, head cocked to the sides. Not to the side, Nas started spitting the shit. And Nas spit a line which shut the whole club down. Kiss the mic and drop it. What he said was, when I rap in this thing, everybody know they love it. Next fight, guaranteed, going down by Buster Douglas. Whole crowd go crazy, like, wow, what's going on? This is crazy. Nas just said he gonna get knocked out by somebody named Buster Douglas. <laughs> <clears throat> Next fight, might lose to Buster Douglas, which proved Nas. It's Nostradamus. The prophet. The prophet. I see what's happening. So after that, Nas sees Mike afterwards, after his loss, hugs Mike, embraces him, still had the robe on, black shorts, no socks. He said, I'm sorry, champ. Sorry I had to go through that. Sorry I had to predict your demise. Mike said, all these bitches are mine. All, all these, these bitches, bitches are mine. mine. And he looked Nas dead in his eye. And he said, did, Did you miss me? God damn, damn, man. We took your rap world on, and dropped your ass off, man. This is Did You Miss Me? I'm d -Lake. I'm Billy Surreal. It's your boy, Damn Fool, man. Another fire episode, man. We did it again.